Here's all the new features included in Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye. So let's start off with the main part of Raspberry Pi OS, which is Debian Bullseye, released in August, and it's really cool. Previous versions used Debian Buster, but now they're using Debian Bullseye, which is a newer version, or Debian 11, whatever you want to call it. So here's a really cool feature in Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye, which is GTK plus all the desktop components and applications are now using version 3 of GTK. Up until now, most of the desktop has used GTK Plus 2, but GTK Plus 3 has been around for several years now, and they finally switched to GTK Plus 3. There are a few changes to the widgets, the most obvious is the new appearance of tab interfaces, like you can see on the screen right now. The next big feature is the window manager, which is Mutter. Mutter is now replacing Openbox, which was used in previous releases. Mutter gives nice window opening and closing animations and shadows behind the window borders. They're subtle changes, but they make the desktop feel more modern. Mutter needs two gigabytes of RAM or more, so you can only use it with the Raspberry Pi for two gigabyte, four gigabyte, or eight gigabyte, or the Raspberry Pi 400. Raspberry Pi 3s, 2s, 1s, 0s, 0Ws, 0.2Ws are not included, so they still use Openbox. Another new feature is notifications, which Windows and Mac OS have had for a long time, but Raspberry Pi OS finally has it. Notifications are shown in Windows at the top right corner of the screen, the most recent at the top. Notifications will automatically time out and be hidden after 15 seconds, or you can clear them immediately by clicking on the Windows. Another new feature is the updater plugin, which makes use of the notification system. It's an easy way to be informed about and to install system and app updates. Up until now, you've had to use apt in a terminal window, but now you can use a GUI. That's awesome. Every time you boot your Raspberry Pi, it checks for updates, but don't worry if you leave your Raspberry Pi powered for days or weeks at a time, because they make checks every 24 hours. 